Curly Tube, I'm APC, and today I'm making another Paint.net tutorial for the Sinforge GFX channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about tiling backgrounds with images. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to make another very similar tutorial, which is how to make tiling backgrounds with uh, graphics we made ourselves. And I'll put a link to that tutorial in the description once it comes out. It's a very similar technique, but it's not quite the same. So, moving on, today's tutorial is about tiling backgrounds with images that we have. So before you start the, the tutorial, um, you're going to have to ha have um, a set of images already ready. So here's here's the ones I, I got. I just went to Google and I, and I found these and these are all old video game systems. Something that's important about these is that you're going to need to make sure that they have transparent backgrounds. The way you can make them have transparent backgrounds is, is to bring them to paint.net and if they have a, a solid background you can use magic wand tool, select the background, press delete. Or if they have a not so solid background, you might have to go it'll the process will be a little more tedious and you'll have to um, circumscribe the image with the lasso tool and and delete the background bit by bit. But w once you have the background transparent, make sure you save it as a, a file type that supports transparency. I always save save it as PN, a PNG. Um, there might be other ones that support transparency, I'm not sure, but PNG would be the one I recommend. So th th these are all tr PNGs with transparent backgrounds. Alright, so now um, here we have our image that's going to be the tiled background, so we're going to resize it. I'm going to resize it to 400 by 400, which is a good size to work with for what we're trying to do. So first I'm going to gra gra grab one of these images, and I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to paste the image onto here. Make sure you click keep canvas size because you want the, si the canvas size to remain constant. And now we're going to make this smaller. So hold and shift and size it down. By holding and shift, it maintains the aspect ratio, which is um, a trick I learned recently and is a very handy trick. Cause, and and we're going to want um, all the aspect ratios to be maintained to make sure that uh, the video game consoles don't become skewed. So that's the first one. Now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to select another console so copy paste keep canvas size and shift size down there we go and I'm gonna add one more before we move on same process oh, pasted and I'm going to go ahead and size it down. Alright, so now we have three images on the screen and it, it's starting to become apparent that we're running out of space. We're not going to be able to add very many more without them over, like, completely overtaking the other ones. But if we were to make, make this into a tiled background, it would be pretty obvious that it's tiled because there will be white boxes around it basically. So the, the trick to making the, the tile look nice is that we're going to need to have our images be on the left and right side. I'll, I'll demonstrate this with our next, imi next image. So new layer, paste, and so we're going to want to have a little bit of this one on the right side and a little bit on the left side. This is called wrapping the screen. So if we had a little bit on the left side, a little bit on the right side, that'll be wrapping it horizontally. And if we had a little bit on top, a little bit on the bottom, it'll be wrapping it uh, vertically. So I'm going to split this in two sections to go on the right and left side. So go ahead and make sure you have it copied. And I'm going to take it off the screen because we don't want to affect this right now. So create a new image and it should automatically go to the dimensions of the image you have copied. And it'll paste the image on there and make another one. Oh, paste the image on here. So this one I'm going to grab the right side. Click image canvas size. And we'll just make the 100 and make sure your anchor is set to the right side so that way it'll grab the right side so it'll grab this area right here the 100 pixels on the right side there we go and now for this one I'm going to grab the left side so image canvas size and for this one I'm going to need to do 200 instead of 100 because 200 and 100 add up to 300 and 300 is the original width and it's important that the two add up to the original width otherwise we'll have a piece missing in the equation and now, so for the last one, we grab the right side. Now we're going to set the anchor to the left side. So we grab the left side of the image. So now we got two pieces of the whole thing. I'm going to resize this one. And we'll put them both in one image so we can easily copy onto our um, 
tile background here over here. So this one will be on the right side, and we know this because it's um, bordering the right side at the moment. So set the anchor to the right side and make the width 400. Notice that's 400, not 300. 400 is the width of our tiled background, not the width of the um, original uh, of the Atari 2600. So now that we've got that one resized, I'll copy this one and paste it here, and it should show up in the left left automatically. And I'm going to quickly grab the magic wand tool to get rid of this white area. Okay, now we should be able to copy this and put it onto here just fine. And now it's wrapping the screen perfectly. And I'm gonna if if you um use the arrow keys to make sure that it's um aligning with the edges perfectly pixel by pixel. Alright. So now we've we've done one horizontally, now let's uh, get some more practice and and go ahead and wrap one vertically. So let's see, what shall we wrap vertically? I'll do the NES. Okay. So new layer. We have the NES right here. And so we're gonna want a little bit on top, a little bit on bottom. So I have it copied, create a new image, and I'll paste it there, and another one, and I'll paste it there. So this one will go ahead and grab the top part. So I'll say 150 pixels and the top part. Oops. 150 um, working with the height now because we're wrapping vertically working with the height. So I'll just say 120 pixels and working with the height. All right. And this one, image canvas size. The last one did 120, so this needs to be 50 because it needs to add up to 174. Now this one has the bottom, this one has the top part. So this one's going to be aligned with the bottom. We know this because it's bordering the bottom. And so we're going to set the height to the size of our um, tiled background because we're going to end up pasting this onto there. So make sure our anchor is set to the bottom because this is going to be aligned to the bottom. And then we'll go ahead and set our height to 400. Okay. And then we'll grab this one copy and we'll paste it and it should show up on top like that. And then magic wand get rid of that part. Now I'll go ahead and copy this and I should be, be able to bring it over here. I'll just get rid of that one. And there we go. I can move it a little bit to the right. And now it's perfect. So um, we're going to add I think one, one or two more images. And th this one's going to be along the it, this one's going to wrap both vertically and horizontally, so it's going to be in, in all four corners. And this um, process is a little more complex, but it's definitely necessary. Otherwise, you'd have these periodic white areas in the um, in the uh, tiled image. So I'll go ahead and grab my Game Boy Color, new layer for the Game Boy Color, and keep canvas size and let's go ahead and size it down to the size we want because right now it's far too big so that's about right so I have one, one section in that corner another section in that corner another section in that corner and one last section in that corner so now make sure you copy this image because we want the new, new, new size and then we're going to make four images of this because it's going to be in all four corners And now this one's going to be, we're going to grab the right size, so image canvas size. And let's see, I'll grab the right, uh, what shall I do? I'll grab the right 200 pixels, so right anchor. And then we'll do the same thing to this one, canvas size, right 200 pixels. And then these ones will, will be on the left side, so image canvas size has to be 184, because that way it'll add to 384. And that one has the left side, and then this one will also have the left side. Okay, and now this one we're going to have have the top section, so it'll be the top right section of the Game Boy. Make the height, let's see, 100. So the top 100 pixels. And this one we want to grab the bottom, whatever's left over, so that's 188 pixels. Let's set the anchor to the bottom. This one is going to be top. Make sure it's the same as the 
other um, top section that you have, otherwise it won't be lined correctly. And this one, we're going to take the remaining bottom. So now we have four sections of the four corners. Let's see, this one is going to end up in the top right corner of our image because it's bordering the top and the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one as um, to paste the other ones onto. And i got to make the whole thing 400 by 400. And I said just now it was in the top right, so i got to set the anchor to the top right. And I'll go ahead and take a magic wand, wand tool and delete all that. Alright, this one is going to be in the top left because it's bordering top left. And I'll paste that in there. Next I'll go ahead and take this one, paste it in there. And um, handy trick here we can use is to grab our zoom tool and I'll zoom into this corner right here. Then I can use my arrow keys to align this perfectly with the edges. And then we'll grab our last piece. And I will use the same trick here to line it with the edges. Okay, so now we got that layer all done. And I'll go ahead and paste that on top here. Alright, so now we have a pretty good pretty good image right there. Go ahead and save it. As I'll save it as a PNG, I guess. Tile. Okay, flatten. And now I'll go ahead and, and set that as background. And we can take a look at our work. Make sure you have your background setting set to tile, otherwise it will just st stretch it. You can see it. So it's tiling perfectly. You um, it, 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 you'd have a hard time uh, deciding where where the the squares were set, and and um our our Game Boy NES and Atari images were all cut in half. But as you can see, especially the Game Boy, it, there's you can't see any lines where where they were cut. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. I'll see you guys next time.